What is up everyone today on Seth Leroy Hustle Adventures I want to do a truck talk on do you want to make money with your cargo van business what you need to do now I'm gonna break it down in a in a way like I've, I've only been doing this eight months but from what I see from what I've experienced the biggest issue I see with people who start their business I have my own authority I do my own thing whatever some people don't like doing that that's fine I just did that because I want the freedom, but I'm not against, you know, working for someone if, if that's what I, if I, if that's what I had to do. And there's nothing bad with that. I know they pay your insurance, but I'm not getting too off topic, but here's the problem that I've noticed. What you need to do to succeed is drive. You need to drive. And obviously, yeah, focus on the rates, you know, figure it out, you know, but you're not gonna make money with your car parked or your van parked. You're not, you know, you're not gonna make money that way. You need to drive. And I know it seems so simple. I know it seems so simple, but it's it's one of the biggest things I've noticed. And I think a lot of people who haven't been drivers, like, cause I was a truck driver before this and I fell in love with it. I loved it. It's therapeutic to me, but some people like, I noticed they'll get into it and they haven't been in this industry. They think, oh, driving, easy, cool. And I love it, listen to podcasts, you know, hang out. I love it. Now, for some other people, maybe it's a lot harder to drive because, and I know it's a hustle. And the thing when you're an independent contractor with your own authority, you pick and choose what you want to do. But like, when I'll do a night run, I want more money or whatever. Or let's say I do a day run, then I do a night run. Or like, you have to do really hard things, you know what I mean? So I think when people start seeing that, they're like, wait, wait, whoa, no, 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 I don't I don't wanna take these loads, I don't want these loads, and I've seen it. I've helped a lot of people with their businesses, and then there's ones that will do 2,000 miles, like, what's up? And then I'm like, now that's a run, good shit, bro, you know, not, con not, not condescending or anything, I'm just saying, I'm like, yeah, there you go. Or like, they'll take runs where they're like, yeah, I gotta go overnight to fucking wherever, and I'm like, that, that's what I'm, yep. And these people, the people who are doing that, I've seen, people have made profit $2,000 in a week. Or maybe it was two weeks. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, it's probably two weeks. But do you get what I'm saying? Two weeks, yeah. But do you get what I'm saying? Like, those are, you have to grind, bro. And now that 2,002 weeks before the market crashed and the gas and everything, that would be more like 2,500, maybe even a little more. Because I know that because before I was three days hustling, making 1,200, going home. Four days was like, oh, I'm out long. You know, but I am in the Midwest and I run it differently. I stay in these areas, but I do like Nashville. That's like, me and Alan talked and he said he doesn't like Nashville as much, which is interesting. I guess it can always depend on when you're there. Like. It's a very random industry like that. But that's why I'm saying like, cause you know, people talk to me, I help people get, you know, from A to Z, start to finish for free. And uh, it sucks to me when people get into it and then they go, oh, well, it, cause then I see, I see it slowly happening. I see, oh, well, I didn't want that one because I don't really like driving in Atlanta. I've driven in Atlanta. I used to live in Florida and I have family out there, so I've driven in it quite a bit. And I've had runs there. Or I, I had a run there one time to, to Florida and I had a double. Anyways, I don't want to get too on my rabbit holes because I'm crazy. But here's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like driving in Chicago. I've been, I do it every week. Chicago's crazy. To me, I, 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 I'd rather drive in Atlanta. And the reason I say that is obviously to say this. I don't want to drive in Chicago every single week downtown, but I do avoid toll, so I even go through the worst, like, you know, traffic. But I do that. That's what I'm getting at. Like, starting a business, yes, I love the freedom. I mean, last Monday I didn't, I, I had some runs I bid it on, and me and my wife low-key didn't even want me to get them, or this week. And then just stayed home Monday. Cause you know, in the end there were some we did it on, some we passed, but that's, I love that freedom where like, you know, and I love the, I, I love the randomness. Sometimes it's very stressful, especially for my wife. Cause and understandably, I used to just go to a job, make the money and come home. But this is different than that. But I enjoy it as well. It's exciting and so does she. Like it's exciting when you get that really good run that you know, you're gonna profit $400, 500. 
you know, for a, a day of running. Like, that's cool as fuck. You know, usually get one of those a week. A longer one that's, you know, because of the way I run it. You can make a lot more money if you go all around and go crazy. Like, and even in this market, we're still making our minimum. So, that's why, well, and that's why it's strange to me when people say they can't make the money or whatever. I don't, I really don't understand it, you know. So that's why I say the key to success in your cargo van business is you. I mean, and it, there are variables, you know, like where you live, where you this, but then you got to drive to where the loads are. And a big part of this, if you're doing it this way, is you, you stay in your van and you better get comfortable in a van. It, and you got to realize that's part of it too. Um, is that you got to be comfortable in your van. Oh, this cop is whipping a Yui right now. Um, I don't know why. Is he going to get someone? But anyways, uh, that's what I mean. Like, you are the key to it, you know? I got a guy out in California who he's, he's doing it, and everyone you know knows, Cali, you know? But he gets out, and he travels all around, and he makes money. You know what I'm saying? Like... If, you're, if your resilience and your drive is that much to have that freedom, and he was just like me, worked all his life at hard jobs where it was just physical, crazy fucking labor all day. And nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. I like that too for the physicality. As you see on my runs, I'm always walking at all times because I'm used to that. I'm used to jobs where I'm always on my feet. Always. But I did this so I get to choose when I'm on my feet. You know what I mean? So I guess to wrap this one up, it's all on you, like, how far are you willing to go? I got a guy who's relocating to a better area, selling his house. And that's what I said originally I would do for my freedom too. If I didn't, you know, luck out, but I looked into it, I knew Minnesota was a decent market, you know, the Midwest is really good, but I knew Minnesota's decent. You have to do your research too before you jump into this. And that's why the first thing, cause I help people for free is, you know, I won't just tell them, get a cargo van, you're gonna make millions every day. Fuck that. That's that's literally a lie for views. I don't do the lie for a thumbnail. I don't fucking make you think it's all sunshine. I'm a positive guy, as you know. With these truck talks, I get a little bit more streets. But the first thing I say to someone is, where are you located and what are you willing to do? Those are the first two things, cause those are the most important. And a lot of times, you know, and if they're not in a good area, I'll say, yeah, not a good idea. Unless you want to drive to the good location, deadhead, and get loads from there at least 40 miles out from the city, you know, keeping it real. So now to really, really wrap it up, that's what I'm saying. It's like, how far are you willing to go for your freedom? There's a saying I don't even, I can't even recall exactly. Uh, a business owner would work 80 hours a week to not work a 40 hour a week job. And I don't do that. You guys know I stay four to five days out. I had somebody who said on a while back, oh, what do you drive a million miles or a million hours a week? Not really. I'll drive like six hours then, 11 hours then. You know, and I do my overnights too. Those are better pay. But do you get what I'm saying? Like to me though, still I have no boss telling me what to do. That's why I did it. So that's what I mean. How far are you willing to go to just have that freedom? And now I've developed relationships with brokers. Last week I had three that were from a broker in a row dealing with just me. And then this week, I think I had two with a broker who, who messes with me. So how far are you willing to go? Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you want to, if you don't want to, that's fine. Everyone have a blessed day and oh yeah, keep hustling.